Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel. My name is Mike. I'm continuing my Week 6 recaps and analysis. This video is for the game between the Washington Redskins and the Dallas Cowboys. Played down at AT&T Stadium. It was your Sunday night football game. Cowboys win 31-16. to And in what was a rarity for the Cowboys who run their record 2-3-3 three, and three, was that Tony Romo didn't have to stand on his head in this game and be an all-star for them to win. They got very good contributions from their special teams, most notably Dwayne Harris on a punt and kick return. Harris had a, a punt return, an 80-plus yard punt return for a touchdown uh, to extend the lead to 14-3. to three. And then later in the game, had a 90-yard kickoff return that led to a Tony Romo touchdown pass to Terrence Williams to make the score 21-9. to So sort of like two of the bigger scores in the game were either made or set up by a Dwayne Harris return. On the flip side, you know, the Redskins special teams, definitely a huge area of concern, as well as that offensive line. Give the Cowboys defensive line credit, most notably Jason Hatcher, because with DeMarcus Ware missing for most of this game, they sacked RG3 uh, three times. I think they did an overall good job on him. Uh, what you saw more from the Redskins, though, was RG3 run the ball a little bit more. He did have 77 yards rushing. They were able to rush for over 200 yards as a team, the Redskins were. But when it got in the red zone, uh, the Cowboys defense really stiffened up. And, you know, instead of two or three touchdowns in the red zone, the Redskins had to settle for three field goals, which was really, besides the special team stuff, was probably the difference in the game. The Cowboys did sack RG3 three times in this game, um, which you know is a huge step forward from what this unit has done in the past couple weeks here. And now moving forward, you know I think it's a good sign for the Cowboys to show that they can win without Romo playing great, and that it was like a true team win. You know I think it's the best way you can put it. Uh, we've all probably played some kind of sport where we're on a team, no one plays great, but we all do our part. And sometimes those are the most satisfying wins. So we'll see if this sort of jump starts uh, the the um, the Cowboys in this one. For the Redskins, look, this was a season with uh, much expectations, and uh, as of right now, they're falling short. The you know you say the same thing about uh, the Giants, right? Um, but even more so, the Redskins. You know they're still technically in it because they're only one and they're, they're no they're one and four. Terrible record. They have two teams ahead of them. But they're in a very bad division, so that's the only shining light in otherwise a season that has not been going well. Um, you know, maybe the Alfred Morris touchdown run was the highlight of the night uh, for the Redskins. You know, few and far between, especially those special teams plays were really backbreakers in this one for the Redskins. But you know, the Redskins lose 31 to 16. Dallas next week will play. Um, you know, Philly in what is a big showdown now in the NFC East. Both teams are 3-3. Three and three. The game will be played uh, in Philadelphia. Hey, guys, let me know what you thought of this game. Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter at S News Analysis. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I preview and recap every game every week. I'm always talking the news of the day in the NFL, so be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Have a great night.